Hello everyone, welcome back to Jameson's Repair Shop. Well, working on the Bronco again. Here we are with the 400 engine. And if you've been following my channel, you know I went and got this uh, engine uh, down Swift Current, Saskatchewan. It had a, uh, a four-speed uh, granny low transmission on it out of a one-ton truck. So, to put it in this uh, automatic Bronco, it needs to have the uh, flex plate changed out. To, to fit the C6. The manual transmission had a 102, a 180-tooth uh, uh, flywheel, where the C6 for this one takes a 164-tooth flex plate. Going from the 180-tooth down to the 164-tooth, of course, that puts the starter in a different position. That separator plate is not uncommon, uh, very common. Now, anything that had a C6 automatic, on a 351 or a 400 engine, maybe even the Cleveland's, but I'm not 100% sure there, would have had a uh, had that separator plate in to accommodate for the starter. So here I am getting this geared up, and that flex plate finally came, the new one, and the separator plate's different. The starter sits quite a long way out from where it needs to be. Clearly not going to work. So anyway, uh, I checked around, I looked around for a, a plate. You know, it's, diff it's, it's an odd thing that these engines were like scrapped everywhere. There should be hundreds of these laying around the prairie land here with oil pans and parts. I mean, they were just junked and they're seized up ones, but you try to find something for them. It's like, holy man. It's like everybody just threw them in the scrap pile and they went to the crusher or something or to the do the metal recycler anyhow rambling on a bit here i couldn't immediately find a separator plate for the c6 for the uh 400 engine so what i did uh i was looking at it and thinking well why can't i use the old one well the starter is in the wrong spot for sure but we can fix that and that's what we're doing here today is we're going to fix that starter position hole and I'll use a piece, I'll end up being able to use a piece of uh, metal that I probably would just throw away. Uh, I will never use that again for anything else. So here's this little short video on how I did it. Uh, this 400 came with a manual transmission. If you've been watching uh, when I brought that engine home, you'll know it had a manual on it. The manual transmission has a 180 tooth flywheel. The one I need is a 160 tooth flywheel. Well, the problem is the starter is in the wrong place. Now, you can buy these uh, separator plates. Um, you can buy them used, you can buy them new. The, the problem is with it is I want to get this going. I don't want to wait two weeks again for more parts to show up. And of course, it's another 150 bucks or so to get it here, or to buy it and get it here. Maybe I'll find something around here used. I'm sure I could if I look, kept looking and looking. But uh, you'll see these two holes right here. These mate to the transmission. So the side you're looking at is where the starter goes on and then it mates to the transmission on that side through there and I'll show you on the transmission on the C6. So you can see down in there where that tra where the starter goes, the upper hole and the lower hole. So the problem is in the separator plate that I'm trying to use is that the lower hole is way out here. The upper hole is bang on but the lower hole is way out. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to take a zip cut and I'm going to cut the hole I'm going to cut the hole right out, leaving metal on both sides. And then I'll put the flex plate, I'll put the separator plate back on. I'll, I'll put the pins in from the engine. I might have to make a couple because in they're jammed in there pretty tight. It's easier just to make a couple. Uh, pins in, so that's the engine pin. And there's another one on the other side. And that'll align that uh, separator plate up. And then I'll bolt in a couple places to keep it flat. And I'll cut this right out like so. Probably sort of like this, straight down. I need to leave that hole so I can come I can come right down like that and around. And then I can put a bolt in here once that's free and move this starter 
hole over above the C6 for the C6 transmission, somewhere around here. Because this is the right size of hole for the C6 uh, starter for this engine. It just, it, the hole's in the wrong place. And when you buy the other one, it's, it's made to fit the C6. And then I have to cut out a spot right here to allow access to get at the torque converter bolts. And I have the plate for that. It came with the engine, or it came with the Bronco. So I have the, the plate that goes over there. Anyway, that's what I'm up to. Well, there's the plate, uh, the separator plates on. Uh, a couple of dowel pins put in to keep it aligned. A couple of bolts to hold it in place. And uh, so, so what's going on here is as you can see, and I thought this starter bolt hole actually lined up with it, but it doesn't at all. It doesn't matter. I, I laid this part of it over top of the, the starter hole and the starter bolt pattern, and it, it's the same. It's just the hole's in the wrong spot. So, like I said before, I'm going to cut. I'll cut it out, cut the hole right out, like so. And I'll just bring it in and move it over the bolt holes, and I'll bolt it in place. And then I'll lay this plate back over it again and I'll just etch around where the part of the plate needs to be cut out and modified. Also, it's a deeper bell housing on, this, on the manual, so these holes here don't align with anything. So I'll have to find out, I'll have to cut it down and then put uh, holes in for the bolts to, to bolt to the lower part of the bell housing. And then also cut out that uh, plate for access to the uh, to the torque converter nuts. You have to have access to them. I don't think I can get them through there, and it wouldn't be very comfortable. It's better down here. All right. So let me uh, now that I know what I need done. I'll just take and zip that out, bolt it back on, put the plate back over it, etch it out, and go from there. Okay, I've got it cut out. I cut this piece right out of the old uh, separator plate. And now I'm just going to scribe around it and I'm cut as close to that scribe line as I can. This will take a bit of fitting because this has to be 100% accurate here. So um, I'll get her scribed up and cut her out. There, she's scribed up. So now I'm just going to cut that out and then I'll take it back over and fit it again and keep doing that until I get it uh, flush with uh, the piece that I'm trying to weld in and I'll just tack it in and then we'll do a, a weld job. There, that'll hold it until I get the uh, plate off and we'll weld it up. I'll need this stuff. My guide pins out. Save them. I'll be putting it back in a couple times. There. There she is. Now I gotta weld it up and uh, I'll have myself a, a new uh, separator plate. All right, I got the uh, separator plate done up. Got the port put in to get out the torque nuts. The plate there, I'll put a, a couple of self tappers in when the time comes. 
I'm not going to grind all this off. It doesn't need to be. It's not touching anything. Uh, also, I did do where the the mating surface is. I cleaned it up, but that's good. I've tested it on the uh, back of the engine over here. Seems to fit really well. I tested the starter and checked the clearance. Time for the flex plate. Do a little check before I put it on. Backer plates on or separator plates on because I don't want to take this back off. I got all my bolts. The uh, flex plate is aligned properly. That's why I have these all these bolts in. I just want to double check. I got something to hold it with and I got a little bit of blue Loctite. So let's go at this and we'll get this, uh, we'll get this flex plate done. Torque them now to 75 pounds because it's somewhere between 70 and 80 pounds. Well, I'm just going to do 75. Hopefully this will hold it. Very good. Well, that's it for my uh, modification on my separator plate. Uh, fly, the flex plate's on, torqued up. I cleaned the engine up a little bit better. Um, I aligned the bolt holes for the torque converter up and down, so the bottom one is where I can get at it. And there's the drain hole for the drain hole right there. But that's it. Uh, so if you're like me and having trouble finding old parts, and you can find one of these larger 180-tooth uh, flywheel separator plates. You can modify it, and it'll, it'll work on your for your C6. You can't go you can't go the other way without adding metal, but you can definitely go this way just without adding metal. You just cut it out. Anyway, that's it, everyone. Um, I was going to add this in with the engine install video, but I felt it would be too long, so I'm doing it separately. And I'll be referring probably to this in the engine install video, but who knows. But anyway, thanks everyone for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.